The Fireball Super Witch's attack strategy is incredibly powerful, capable of wiping out all TH-13 max bases, and this army looks amazing while destroying your enemy's base. Your clanmates will definitely say wow after watching you use this army. So hey guys, welcome back to the Stealth YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the Fireball Super Witch's attack strategy. I will provide you with all the base layouts and army copy links in the description, and let's set a target of 300 likes. So, without wasting your precious time, let's start this video. Before watching the plan, let's check the hero's equipment that I will use in this attack. These are the hero's equipment that I am going to use. Make sure to use max fireball with this army to get maximum destruction on your enemy's base. So, let's plan this attack. Have a look at this base. The first thing we have to do is create a good funnel while destroying as many defenses as possible with our fireball. As you can see, the Eagle Artillery is placed near the corner, surrounded by many defenses, so it is the perfect target to hit with the fireball. First, we will deploy our Grand Warden on this side, backed up by four healers. We will drop two Baby Dragons to destroy these corner cannons. Our Grand Warden will keep moving straight and destroy the Archer Tower and both mortars. Then. We will drop two Earthquake spells like this to damage the artillery and nearby defenses. After that, we will activate and shoot our Fireball, and it will hit the Eagle Artillery and destroy all the nearby defenses too, clearing this section of the base. Next, we will drop our Ice Golem, Barbarian King, and Siege Barracks here. With the help of our Siege Barracks troops and Barbarian King, we will clear all the outer trash buildings, making a clear path for our Super Witches. We will drop all our Super Witches here, backed up by the Archer Queen and Royal Champion. Due to the large housing space of the troops, our Grand Warden will join them, and our healers will shift to start healing our Super Witches. We will also drop our two Super Wall Breakers behind to open up these walls. Once our troops start entering the base, we will deploy a Rage spell on them. With the Rage ability, our Super Witches and their big boys will clear the front easily. Then, we will drop our Jump spell to gain access to the side compartments. After that, all we have to do is use our hero's abilities at the right time and drop our remaining rage spells along the path and our troops will move like this and wipe out the base. Sounds easy, right? Let's start this attack now to clear all your doubts. We will start this attack by deploying our Grand Warden, followed by a Coco Loon to check for air traps, and then all the healers. Next, we will deploy our Baby Dragons to destroy the corner defenses. When using any fireball strategy, make sure to destroy all the corner defenses first before firing the fireball. Once you clear all outer defenses, drop your earthquake spells, activate the fireball ability, and then boom, you will get an instant funnel while destroying the major defenses. Then, move to the other side and release your king, and siege barracks to clear the outer trash buildings and create a good funnel for our super witches. I didn't wait too long here and quickly dropped all my super witches, as there weren't too many buildings left on the outside. As you can see, our Warden is joining the troops. Also, notice that I didn't use invisible spells while deploying the Fireball, since our target was close to the corner so we didn't need them. But in the next attacks, I will show you how to target defenses, or the Town Hall deep within the base using Fireball and invisible spells, so make sure to stay tuned. We have dropped our Wall Breakers and Jump Spell here to create an opening for our big boys. The Rocket Spear equipment for the Royal Champion is really useful in this army, as it maintains a large distance from the defenses and destroys them easily. In this attack, I dropped the Royal Champion with all the troops, but we will use her to clear different areas in the next attacks. Now, all we have to do is use our remaining Rage spell to destroy the rest of the base. Look at the timer and see how quickly we've destroyed half of the base. This strategy is the boss for compact bases, but it's risky to use it against spread base layouts, because time failure and low value from Fireball is a major issue. This first attack is just an example to cover the basics. Our next attacks will be against more powerful base layouts, so please stay connected and watch the full video, as there are still many things to learn about the Fireball targets and strategy. Now it's time to level up the attack as we will use invisible spells to cover the defenses and target the major defenses with our fireball. Have a look at this base. 
Here, I plan to target the town hall with my fireball to destroy both expos, the single target inferno, the enemy royal champion, and all the nearby structures. But before that, we have to clear all the outer defenses with the warden walk and understand how to target the town hall using our invisible spells. First, we will drop our Grand Warden on this side, backed up by the healers. Then, we will deploy a Baby Dragon to take down this corner cannon. As our Warden is working, we will deploy two Earthquake spells on top of the Town Hall, which will activate the Giga Tesla and also damage the nearby defenses. We will also release our Barbarian King and Siege Barracks on this side to carve out this corner section of the base. Once our Grand Warden destroys the outer defenses, we will drop our invisible spells like this, so that they will cover all of the defenses and expose the town hall. As there is no nearby defenses near the Grand Warden, we will quickly activate his fireball ability before the invisible spell effect is gone, and by doing this, our fireball will target the town hall and you will destroy this area of the base completely. After that, we will release our kill squad here. They will all start moving like this and we will use our Rage and Freeze spells to help them clear the remaining buildings and defenses, and this is how we will win this attack. I know this may sound confusing. Don't worry, let's start this attack to clear all your doubts. We will kick off this attack by starting our Warden Walk. Do not forget to drop your Baby Dragon in the corner to clear that cannon or any outer defenses that could distract our Fireball. Our primary objective here is to destroy all the outside defenses before triggering the Fireball ability. Drop your Earthquake spells to activate the Giga Tesla. Some players think we can also use Lightning spells to activate the Town Hall, but I'm sorry to say that Lightning spells won't affect the Town Hall. We have also dropped our King and Siege Barracks to carve out the side of the base. Now, let our Grand Warden take down this cannon, and we will drop our Invisible spells to cover the defenses. You have to make sure that there are no defenses left outside before triggering the Fireball, or else you will waste it. Drop your invisible spell like this so that it will cover all the defenses expect the town hall. Oops, I forgot to tell you guys that a level 18 fireball isn't powerful enough to destroy the town hall, but it can deal significant damage and leave it with only a few HP. However, our fireball is so powerful that it can destroy any defenses on enemy base. So we have dropped all our super witches now and a single hit from any of our troops can destroy this town hall. You can also use the Poison spell instead of Freeze. Now all we have to do is wait and help our troops with heroes' abilities and spells to quickly take down this base. We mostly prefer to target the Eagle Artillery or Scatter Shots with our Fireball, as it can't destroy the Town Hall. By doing this, you will ensure that your troops can survive without the Eternal Tome ability of the Warden. Do not use Healing or Eternal Tome along with the Fireball, or else you will waste their abilities. Only use Rage Gem along with the Fireball. It works really well with the Fireball in Warden Walks, due to the increased damage from its passive effect, whilst also making funneling faster and easier with the ability. And guys, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. In the next attack, I will discuss the major drawbacks of this strategy and how to prevent time fails. I will also explain how you can win the giveaway, where I will be giving away scenery or hero skins to some lucky players. So keep watching. So we have covered all the important points about this amazing Fireball Super Witch Army. Now I will show you a few more attacks, but I challenge you to predict my next move to test how much you've caught. If you get all of my moves correct, then you are ready to play with this strategy. Otherwise, I recommend you rewatch the Attack 2 plan. This army is seriously beautiful to watch and amazing to perform, so much so that all your clanmates will ask you to teach them. But before that, Please master this strategy by performing in friendly challenges or in multiplayer battles. Now let's discuss the drawbacks of this strategy. The first major drawback is that this strategy is risky to use on spread out base layouts where buildings are placed with gaps, as our fireball can't get enough value there, and our witches take too much time to clear the base, which may result in a time fail if you take too much time thinking. The second major drawback is the fireball equipment level, which is the most important in this attack. I recommend using only max fireball equipment, which is level 18 for Town Hall 13 players. 
the level 18 fireball will increase the damage tile radius by 6, and also increase the damage by 3,400, which is enough to destroy the surrounding defenses near the town hall or artillery. Other heroes' equipment will not affect your attack that much. Don't be sad if your fireball is lower than level 18. I am here to put a smile on your face again with a giveaway, where I will give away 20 spooky sceneries, hero skins, the legendary dragon statue, and more at the end of this year. So make sure to watch the next attack to know how to get a chance to win these amazing rewards. Predict my next move, troop placement, or spell usage in these attacks. This will help you quickly learn the basics more easily. I've also provided copy links for all the base layouts in the descriptions, so you can use them to strengthen your defense. My videos will help you improve both your attacks and defense. If you enjoy my content and find it helpful, please share this video with your clanmates and leave your thoughts or feedback in the comments. I love reading your comments. They motivate me to keep making great content. I have also uploaded many TH13 attack strategies on my channel that you should try. Also, if you really enjoy my content and want to support my channel, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to our channel, which will help me stay motivated to provide you with the best content. If you really love my work and want to support me, then I request you to join our special membership, as I don't have any creator code yet. Your small contribution not only helps support my family, but you'll also get access to exclusive badges and perks plus a chance to win exciting rewards like sceneries, hero skins, gold passes, and more through our upcoming giveaways. I've already given sceneries and skins to some of our amazing members, and I'm planning a new giveaway when we hit 30,000 subscribers or before the end of this year. Your support through membership makes a big difference and encourages me to keep bringing you the best strategies and tips. I appreciate every bit of help and will let you enjoy the rest of the video. Remember, I'll be back next week with another awesome strategy where I will show you how to take down Max TH15 or even Town Hall 16 bases as a Town Hall 13 player, so make sure to subscribe. Oh.